Lalit Modi has filed his nomination for the Rajasthan Cricket Association elections with the BJP returning to power in Rajasthan. There had been signals from the Lalit Modi camp that he will be fighting the RCA polls and today his representatives filed his nomination at the Rajasthan Cricket Association. Modi will contest against Rampal Sharma from the Bhilwara District Cricket Association. Modi's loyalists met in Rajasthan a few days ago and decided the road ahead. Now that his nomination has been filed for the elections on the 19th of December, he of course, if you recall, was banned for life by the BCCI from all matters cricket in India. But the suspension was stayed by the Rajasthan High Court in October. And Lalit Modi's counsel, his legal counsel, Mehmood Abdi, now joins me on the phone line. Uh, tell me this, Mr. Abdi, he's been banned by BCCI for life. Is this not a technical ground that the, uh, since RCA is not controlled by BCCI, he can fight nominations? No, no, uh, he's no, a man no, no, who no, no, many no, no. say no, no, brought I, distribute I, to cricket I, in India. I put it differently because these are not BCCI elections. These are the elections of Rajasthan Cricket Association which is constituted under the Rajasthan Sports Act. And the Sports Act has got its own set of qualifications and disqualifications, which is a state law. Whereas BCCI bylaws are the bylaws of a private association. So what will ultimately prevail? The law will, will prevail. He has not earned any disqualification under the Rajasthan Sports Act. And the elections of RCA and the, RA, and the RCA itself is uh, constituted under the Sports Act. Okay, but the results would then be sent to the Supreme Court. Uh, is, is that that is what we are being told? Is that what happens? That the results will be sent to the Supreme Court in a in a sealed uh, envelope? No, 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 no. That was the interpretation of the Honorable uh, Principal or the Chief of Observer upon the Supreme Court, and we agitated this point before Honorable Justice Kasriwal, and he said he is, he is open to review of this uh, decision that it will be put in under the seal cover because the seal cover meta is not concerning about his disqualification. That is about the individual uh, voting right of the individual members which are not allowed to cast vote, who are not the office bearers of the district cricket associations. So that has got nothing to do with qualification or disqualification of Mr. Modi. It's altogether a different matter. That was the SLP filed by the individual members who are not of, of, of office bearers of okay. any district cricket association. They have been fighting against it. That they should be allowed to vote. And in earlier two elections, their votes were kept under the seal cover. And this time, they have not been allowed to vote. So this okay. result... Mehmood Abdi, just stay on with me for a moment. Let me also bring in Siddharth Kochar, uh, my colleague, uh, who's been tracking this development very closely. Siddharth, should Lalit Modi win election? How does this function then, the Rajasthan Cricket Association, how will it interact with the BCCI which has actually banned Lalit Modi for life? It's going to be interesting. It's going to be very, very interesting. That's all I can tell you because the BCCI bosses, I'm sure, will formulate a formula. Maybe they could even go to the courts. Maybe they could uh, ban Rajasthan Cricket Association or suspend its membership of the BCCI. We don't know what strategy that the BCCI is going to employ, but they will formulate a strategy because uh, Lalit Modi's return to the RCA will be a massive, massive embarrassment uh, for N. Srinivasan and the other BCCI bigwigs who formulated the plan to oust Lalit Modi from the BCCI.